Hey everyone, 8Bishop here. Today we're going to be a deck feature in a deck I call Lockout. The idea of the deck is to win a location for free of Professor X and then um, just win another location because a lot of time people will kind of throw one away and um, you can kind of just win a like minorly contested thing plus a thrown away location. Um, so the big things to keep in mind for this deck are that um, Okoye and Forge are both here hoping to uh, to boost Professor X, but you aren't required to, especially if you set up a slot with like a little bit of stats on it ahead of Professor X coming down. Um, Mr. Sinister is also a fantastic target and can steal a win. You play If you play a Mr. Sinister with 6 power on turn 6, you just gain 12 power and still have 4 mana to play with doing other things. Um... It plays Wave in the deck because it will let you play your Professor X early. It will let you play your Claw early. Uh, it can completely hurt decks that want to combo out cards like Nova. So it is kind of a counter Nova card, especially because a lot of Nova decks like to do their combo in turn four or five. And um, Wave will stop them from setting up their Nova and from doing their Nova combo. Um, it can cause it to be very, very clunky for that deck. We also are playing Nakia because, once again, we want to hit... Um, Namor can just win a location for us, especially if Namor has one to two boosts from other things. So between Professor X and Namor just being able to win locations, and then getting back up from Mr. Fantastic, from Claw, uh, from Ironheart buffs, um, that's kind of just the idea of the deck, is to try your best to scam your opponent from one location and then win another location um, more fairly, but probably still a little scammy as far as how your opponent will be feeling. Um, because we're only playing two one-drops, we are playing one of those as a Quicksilver, just to guarantee that we hit on Curve. Uh, the other one-drop we're currently running is Electra, um, because it is something that can counter um, Nova play a little bit. Um, it also can just do things like win you Mojo World and that kind of thing. Um, this can arguably you change out for like anything else as a one drop and in fact i think right now i'm actually going to swap out to Iceman because at the time i built this deck uh mojo world was the location of the week and i think i like Iceman as a just baseline thing a little bit better uh similar to nightcrawler um which i could also run in the deck Oop. let's not pick the wrong deck i often will forget to swap decks in here uh, da -da, lock out. There is a world where you play more uh, cheap units in this deck, um, and play things like Bishop, and that allows you to claim the space of Professor X, but still make the space stronger. Um, I think we'll start with the Iceman, actually. Even though it gives them more time to play around whatever's happening. Let's go ahead and just play this here. What I'm doing is I'm building up this space um, to hopefully make it kind of our Professor X space. Let's go ahead and just slam the Nakia. Okay, this Namor just got a whole lot worse. Um, since Namor got worse anyway, let's do the Mr. Fantastic instead. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to try to lock out the raptor side of things rather than uh, the devil dinosaur side of things. Because <clears throat> if uh, they don't back up this raptor space right now, we're in a really good spot. And that actually countered the Jubilee, so that should be game.
So just to be safe, we slam that there. And yeah, there we go. First lockout is ours. Of note, Professor X can counter Nova combo. So if you um, want to lock out a space where you think they're going to be playing Nova on turn five, um, and you happen to have the initiative too, then you can really, really get in the way of your opponent's strategy. Um, okay. Normally I go for something to the right because um, that's easier for us to buff with things like Claw. But since we're um, going to lose Mindscape anyway, we have to decide if we're playing Claw or if we're playing Professor X. We don't get to play both. In games like this, we often will play the Claw instead, but it does depend on what we hit. Oh, cool, we're not swapping hands anymore. I'll take it. Okay, knowing that on turn 5 everything has to go there is a big deal for us. Because it's telling us how to play our Professor X more optimally. This is actually a pretty awkward hand for us. I think we do this. There's a real chance Professor X here isn't a uh, reliable enough lockout, but we do have Ironheart and Claw to back it up. And if this does lock them out, we now have a Namor for follow-up in Hollow, which is a huge follow-up play. So, best part is, it looks like they're setting up, and now they don't get to do their combo. Go for it. Uh, minor loss here. I think Namor can win this location. I think it's pretty unlikely that they can generate enough additional stats here. Not without that Nova activation, at least. Oh, that is a big play, though. They're actually running uh, Blue Marvel. I did not play around that. That's unfortunate. If I played around Blue Marvel and done Iceman and Ironheart in center, I, I, I had a much higher likelihood of winning that, actually, because I could have... Uh, if I buffed either one of these, I would have still won that space. I guess I should have played around that. I could even just throw Claw in center, I suppose. <coughs> Honestly, I'm so unused to playing against Blue Marvel at this point that I just didn't even think about that as a card. Okay, that's annoying. I don't think we're going to play the Sinister yet. We'll pass on that. Let's just knock ya. 
Because that's A OK -okay if it gets destroyed by Morgu World. Oh, wow, same play. That's pretty gross, actually. Let's go ahead and just do this to make their follow-up play not be great. Okay, and then let's just lock down this space. Yeah. Nice. And now that guarantees Claw will go here, which means that this is actually a 13-point play for this space and a 5-point play for this space, so I'm feeling pretty confident here. Interesting decision. I guess they wanted to but boost the bishops as much as possible. But yeah, they could have just had two six point novas instead of that four point swing. We'll get one more in here. But so far it's performing pretty well. You can see that the idea of the deck. Okay, sure. I guess. That stat boost is actually a pretty big deal. Fine. There's a little bit of anti-synergy with the Iceman. I'm pretty sure her ability is just a flat. This is their cost next turn. So that is something to keep in mind. This is kind of awkward at this point. But it potentially makes this so much stronger. I think I just do this, though. Oh, here's hoping for the best. If they move that vision over here, that's pretty contested, though. Oh, or, you know, just play Warpath. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. I didn't even think about Warpath. 
<clears throat> Just say it didn't get there this time. It happens though. And a Deathblade Warpath is actually a pretty good counter against Professor X.